This photo will make history books, and we at Brugger Films cannot pass up the opportunity to analyse the facts in a special way. Let's understand the path of the bullet that nearly killed candidate Donald Trump in a 3D analysis of the events. The rally for candidate Trump was scheduled for 5pm, and at 6pm the candidate took the stage. He wore his campaign cap and a suit without a tie. For two minutes, he energised and thanked his supporters. And at 6.05, he began his speech. He starts by thanking the audience for their presence and continues by discussing the direction the country is taking. Here at Beside him were two glass pedestals displaying his speech, the teleprompter. He began reading and improvising his speech. There was no glass protection in front of him. Now, a crucial moment. He turns and starts to show a poster with immigration statistics. Let's look again. He points to the map and note that a little farther away, there is a plastic factory next to the event venue. This witness reports that he was there, very close at the time, sheltered under the trees beside the building. He also said that five minutes after Trump began his speech, he heard someone crawling on the roof. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing here like this. This video shows the moment. This man is Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20 years old from Pennsylvania. The witness reports that he saw he was armed and alerted the police that there was a man there. This is the shooter's view at that moment. Matthew Crooks was only 130 metres away from the stage where Donald Trump was standing. It's approximately the length of a football field. Behind Trump, there are three buildings, and on top of one of them is a Secret Service agent, a sniper, an elite marksman trained and armed to hit long-distance targets. Special Operations Security Specialist Roy Taylor said that there is always a sniper positioned behind the person whose security must be guaranteed, always watching the outer perimeter of the event. Optics, binoculars... Really see something this to our country. At 6.11pm, Donald Trump was talking about immigration. At that moment, the sniper moved as if he observed something to his right, and two types of gunfire were heard. This is the trajectory of the bullet fired by Thomas from an AR-15 from the rooftop. The shooter's bullet passed just millimetres from Donald Trump's head, striking his right ear and injuring his face. If Donald Trump hadn't turned his head at the last second, he would have been fatally hit. This photo captures the exact moment when the bullet passes behind the presidential candidate and continues to the audience. It's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Trump interrupts his speech and, at the sound of the third shot, brings his hand to his right ear and quickly ducks. The people behind him in the audience also duck, and two more shots are heard. There were eight shots in total. Some people screamed desperately. And the Secret Service agents quickly get on stage and try to protect the candidate. Another shot is heard, and the agents look to the left side of the stage. Their voices are captured on the microphone. Are you ready? On you! Are you ready? On you! Armed police officers climb onto the stage and less than a minute after the first shot, they announce... Shooters down. Are we good to move? 
This image shows Thomas on the rooftop already lifeless. At 6.13, Donald Trump is lifted by the security agents. Trump appears scared with the buttons of his shirt undone and without his cap. We can see blood on his face. The secret agents form a barrier around him to protect him. With a closed fist, Trump addresses the crowd. At this moment, we can see the photographer Evan Vucci moving in front of the stage. The crowd chants, Trump, escorted, is taken to a van surrounded by police officers. Robert Sanders, former consultant to the US Department of Homeland Security, said that this moment was decisive. The moment when Donald Trump moves to point at the statistics chart on immigration. If it weren't for that movement, he would have been fatally shot in the head. Uh, a headshot causing you know, serious damage. The bullet, captured in the photo, continued to the bleachers to the left of Trump. There was Corey Compatore, the 50-year-old chief of volunteer firefighters, who died while trying to protect his family during the assassination attempt, jumping on them to shield them from the bullets. Two other people were injured. Roy Taylor said that the building where the shooter was should have been searched before the event. However, as a former president, Trump is entitled to limited security. And if this had happened next week, Trump would have more security as an official presidential candidate. A limited Secret Service detail um, this weekend. The photo that will mark the history books is by Evan Vucci of the Associated Press News Agency. He was seen at the time running in front of the stage. He captured a series of photos at the moment, but this one will go down in history. It follows the rule of thirds that photographers use to compose a photograph. Donald Trump's face is right in the center, his raised hand and his escort forming a pyramid that reaches to the sky, with agents on either side and the large American flag fluttering, balancing the shoulder of the secret agent. An incredible photo that marks the history of the American people. But what do you think about all this? A 20-year-old with an AR-15 deciding to shoot a presidential candidate is like signing his own death sentence, don't you think? What drove Thomas Matthew Crooks to commit this act of madness? Comment below. We want to know your opinion. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching another production. We stopped everything to bring you this update on the facts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch our other productions. Your likes and shares help us a lot. Thank you all very much and see you next time.